Good morning guys. As you know, we moved into a new house first of September and we were able to transport the pond with all of the goldfish along with us. They've been happy, they've been healthy, they've been doing well. But now that we're in a bit of a bigger place and the goldfish are a bit bigger as well, I thought it was about time to give them a slightly bigger pond in the meantime as well. Welcome to today's episode, let's get started. If you've been following this channel for a long time, you'll know that we've grown these goldfish from the size of peas to the size of what's now a baseball. You can go back on the channel to find the first videos and see their progress all the way up to now. Specifically, there's one called Two Year Transformation of My Goldfish, like this. We can watch that whole transformation, but long story short, they're getting even bigger. So we moved them from a 40 liter tank to a 60 liter tank to a 100 liter pond and now I think it's time for a 160 liter pond 60% more volume, more space for them this is the container I had in mind and here you can see the difference from the old size to the new size so a considerable size difference, uh, much bigger upgrade, doing a water change right now. We then placed the container in the garden, filled it up with fresh water, added the chlorinator. Okay, it is raining pretty heavily, but we've got the space all cleared up. Now it's just time to clear it off, and then we'll put the new tub there for the pond. One quick power wash, and the area is all open. Let's put up the new pond. The new pond is up, and for now, my plan is just to use the power of nature, use the rainwater to fill it up as possible, and we'll just leave it until it's ready and until this rain is stopped. Next thing we've got to do is transport the plants from the old pond to the new pond and they grow in quite a bit of roots. Check this out. Okay, we've moved over the filtration, at least for what it will be for now. And we're just starting to move over the plants. But take a look at the roots this thing has grown. Absolutely massive. We're going to cut these off just so that we can get it settled on the bottom. Uh, but they will grow back over time as well. plants moved over I noticed that my air pump wasn't working for the sponge filter so in the meantime I used the water pump to get the oxygenation going but we eventually replaced the air pump and the sponge filter is now working perfectly. So this pump actually stopped working which was supposed to be the longer running pump obviously but luckily I had a spare so that's busy running in the meantime while we sort it out. Time to move across the fish take a look at these guys how big they've gotten. And there they are guys, the four fish in the new outside pond. 
bigger and better 100 liters to 160 and a better location i think as well so just a bit more space for the couple more fish and the bigger size that they've gotten and i think it looks quite great i'm pretty sure they're going to have a good time here as well and they've been pretty happy in the pond ever since right now today it's about two weeks later since the goldfish have moved into their even bigger 160 litre pond. I've added some gravel onto the bottom of the pond to give it a nice look and also for some beneficial bacteria. We replaced the air pump and we have the sponge filter going again. And these guys are loving it man, they're really happy, a lot more space to swim. They're eating, they're doing great. Let me take you on a little tour of the pond, what it looks like two weeks later. Take a look at this pond guys. 160 litres. These guys are doing great. Let me get you a view without a glare, hopefully. That little guy used to be tiny. He was also small and it's grown huge. And obviously these two guys are just ridiculously massive. <laughs> Can't wait to see how big they'll get. Awesome guys. And look at all the space they've got now to swim. Look at the size of them versus the size that they have. They absolutely love it. Lots of leaves for shade if they want to get away from the sun. And this pond is awesome. I love sitting by it. So therapeutic, so beautiful just to see nature and water in your home. I love it. These plants are also going crazy. Amazon sword and something like a papyrus plant. Uh, you can tell me if you know what it is in the comments, but man. I'm really loving it. They're really loving it. And we'll see just how big they get before they need a new pond. Which I wouldn't be surprised if it happens. But for now, they're loving it. I'm loving it. What an awesome pond. That's it for today's episode guys, thank you for watching. If you want to follow along with these goldfish and see how big they get before they explode, subscribe to the channel, like this video if you like these kind of things, my ponds, my marine tanks, and I hope to see you once again, as always, on the next episode of Chris Aquariums. I know what it is and it's quite exciting, at least I think so. I'll see you guys then. <laughs>